Carlos. I'm receiving a communique from someone who's calling himself a representative of some important people. I don't know. It's a bold statement, but might be worth your time if it's true. I'm pitching him through to you. Ares 3-5. It's a pleasure. We know you're here in Dredge, but that shouldn't come as a surprise, should it? I think it's time we everything that goes on and the man will city. decide whether you and those I represent enter into a long, mutually beneficial relationship. You may call me the Scout. Boss, be very, very careful. This could be a trap. I agree that it's probably best we investigate, though. Saber Doc! I was afraid you might have lost your nerve. We know you can fight, but that's not enough. If you want to impress my employers, you'll have to do more. You'll have to excel. The first step in excelling is demonstrating your will and combat prowess to me. I'll be your foe and your judge. Do you understand? Defend yourself. I have no intention of holding back. Wonderful. Now that I see you in the flesh, I understand why we've decided to take an interest in you. It's not often we reach out to outsiders, Ares 3-5. Perform well on the tasks I have, and a world of opportunities will present itself to you. There's a group of young upstarts hanging around outside of Dredge. Their rather obnoxious behavior is having an adverse effect on my employer's interests, terrorizing civilians of the sort. We want you to eliminate them, simply put. The Accord's proven incapable of handling them. Collect those ridiculous badges they wear, and bring them back to me. It's not going to be quite that simple, though. We're going to make sure you're challenged. Keep things even. Just one piece of advice. Leave your personal feelings out of this. We don't care about your reasons. We care about what will benefit us. We care about strength and profit. Nothing else matters. Not sure how I feel about this boss. I know those guys are hurting civilians, but it seems kind of harsh. Titan will find you.
pay for this. Let me see those badges. Yes, good. We'll find a good use for them. The blood on this flimsy metal will do all the talking for us. I wouldn't say you've earned an ally today, Ares 3-5, but I would say you haven't earned an enemy. We'll be watching you. Remember, we don't care about your reasons. Strength and profit are what matter. Let's get out of here. That guy gives me the cribs, and I'm not even there with you. This whole situation puts a terrible taste in my mouth. This tank and our bad news, no matter if they're allies or not. Ares 3-5, this is Anton Hall from Asterix. I could use someone versed in various weapon systems to test some of our grenade mods. You interested? Sounds like it could be fun. Sign us up. Good to hear. Come see me so I can outfit you accordingly. Then we can commence field testing. I'm giving you two grenade mods. One is called Earth, and the other is Fire. No wind or water? 
We do have a chemical we call wind, but no water. Good thing, though, since water is proven to be quite deadly to battle frame pilots. First, let's test the Earth at this location. This one is infused with a polarized calcium salt mixture that isolates and hardens nerves on impact. Your targets will slow to a crawl. We believe its primary application will be non-lethal, but for now, you'll be applying it in a lethal capacity to some of the nastier creatures of Sir Tau. Okay, Mr. Hall. We are near our target. The grenade should be your active call-down. Engage targets with grenades, then finish them with your gun. slowing them down, but they also seem to be able to take more punishment. Fascinating. You keep trying it out. explosives at them, it's just a few more should suffice. <laughs> oh. Well, I may recommend we consider using this as a sort of defensive combat stim. The decline in motor reflexes is offset by increased hardiness. This would be rather useful when creating a bulwark. Speaking of combat stims, I have a request to make while you're out there. Some of our experimental test creatures escaped and need to be put down before they complicate matters. We gave them several doses of a chemical we call wind. It drastically enhances motor function and speed. If they were to reproduce with the general population, I have no idea what might happen. Make sure that doesn't occur. are moving very quickly. Hope your aim is on point today. <laughs> they really do move like the wind. Well, I suppose it's good to know the chemical works. 
We keep at it, though. Just tracking a few more signals. We can't afford any of them to escape. motor function, but also increased aggression, something to address before we move on to human subjects. Speaking of which, I just got a report of a group of thugs stealing some of our prototype stocks. One of their party applied both the earth and wind chemicals to his own body, lost his mind, and killed his crew. He is incredibly dangerous, and needs to be stopped. This will be a great opportunity to test out the fire mod. It's a double action detonator. First, it disperses a thin flammable compound and then immediately sets it alight. Try it on this marauder. original items. Return them to me, and I will prep your payment. Thank you, Ares 3-5. You helped me collect some valuable data, and also quelled some serious problems. Astrek appreciates capable pilots such as yourself. Mission from outside of Dredge, a civilian. It's garbled. 
He sounds completely terrified, whoever he is. I'm forwarding you the coordinates now. Let's head to his position and see what's going on. Thank you, thank you! There's no way I would have survived. Please, you've got to put an end to this. I know where these tank and wannabes camp is. I can show you where it is. But I'm not going back there, okay? We can stop this blood sport right here, right now. You have to help us. Boss, we owe it to this man to see this through. Dredge is already unstable enough without this kind of thing going on. I'll stay connected to you via sin, but I'm not stepping foot back in that camp. It's... it's too horrible. Now, keep your eyes sharp. Why? 
Why would they do this to us? It's sick! Trying to impress the tank and through some twisted game? How can they live with themselves? These poor men. How many others have suffered the same fit? You're there! You made it! This is where they kept us. Chained us up. Treated us like animals. Worse. They let the others loose and chased them down. Just like me. We have to take care of this situation once and for all. Please, for all of our sakes, get rid of these monsters! I can't watch. Just get it over with. We're off to a good start, 3-5. Keep hunting them down. I... I wish I could say this makes me feel better. Seeing them dead. But I guess that's what makes us different from them, huh? Thank you. And all those who didn't survive, we've done them a favor as well. Thank goodness we were able to put a stop to that horrific game. Dredge is undoubtedly safer for it. We're being contacted by the facility manager at Estrak's Andriv station. Something about lost tech. I'm patching her through to you. Hello? Eris 3-5? Hi, I'm Maria Cantos, the Andriv station facility manager. Not the most pleasant of assignments, but hey, there are still worse places, right? But anyway, listen. Lately, a lot of our shipments have fallen under attack en route. I know what you're thinking, but it's not bandits. Report says it's the local wildlife, of all strange things. Think you could swing by my office in Andreev Station and help sort things out? Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to resolve this without going through my superiors. Wouldn't look too good on my record, you know? <laughs> Even though it's not my fault, whatever's going on. So like I said, a lot of our shipments have fallen under attack from local wildlife. Normally, a few creatures wouldn't present much of a problem, but this is way too frequent. It's suspicious, too. They're only going after shipments that contain a new upgrade to reactor hardware. To tell the truth, we're at a bit of a loss. Do you think you might help savage some of the tech so we can get to the bottom of this? data to determine what's causing these creatures to be attracted to the Estrek tag. I'm forwarding you another set of coordinates for that lost Estrek tag. Let's get over there and salvage it. <laughs>
later. I'm picking up a large cache of Estrak tech nearby. The signal is very strong. It might be where the creatures have been hoarding it. Let's head to that Estrak tech cache. It should provide us with enough samples to figure out what's agitating the local creatures. wildlife to go crazy whenever this tech passes by. The reactor components resonate in the same pattern as the creature's subharmonic vocal calls. The frequency, though, is higher. And, well, this is definitely the first time I've said something like this. In other words, the Astrak tech sounds like this creature's offspring. Let's head back to Sikantos and Andrev Station and let her know what we've discovered. At least it's nothing sinister, no? The tech what? The frequencies sound like their offspring? Well, I guess that makes sense, in a weird kind of way. Listen, uh, let's keep this between us, okay? I really don't think Asterix would appreciate having to pay the accord for claims due to creature-related injuries. Sorry, Maria. As much as I'd love to help you out, you know we can't do that. <sighs> yeah, I know. I figured. It wasn't a serious suggestion. It doesn't hurt to check, does it? Thanks again for taking care of this for us. Now it's up to Asterix to get this faulty piece of hardware off the line. Well, that was an uncharacteristically pleasant way to wrap things up, wasn't it? Just some overeager burn thing at work.
Eris 3-5, Anton Hall. Astrek likes to send regular patrols to collect derelict tech and weapons from the old Accord and chosen battlefields. Your name came up. Are you interested? Of course. Awaiting your instructions. I'll send you a location we believe should yield some good finds. Keep an eye out for chosen tech and weapons in particular. Accord stuff isn't really necessary. Why is that? We probably made it. We supplied a lot of weaponry during the heavy fighting. There's a lot of blood in these jewels, but a lot of valuables too. There's a lot of half-buried stuff out here, boss. I guess just start searching near the buried tech. set up shop around here. They know we'll come searching, so they lie in wait, like spiders waiting for prey. Hell, some of them are spiders. This is the battle frame module, but not one I recognize. I think it's Joseph. Hold on to it. That's the kind of stuff I want. Keep digging. It's an EMP mine. Hold on, boss. Your ring will get jump jet power back soon. You're good on your feet. That mine attracted locals. Try to check one more piece of buried tech while you're at it. Chosen plasma cores. All? I think we exhausted what we could find here. Agreed. Let's move on. Wait. Hold one second, 3-5. One of the other patrols is blowing up my sin. Okay, we need to diverge from the collection task. One of the other patrols is under attack, and it sounds like Chosen. Give them support. Wasn't Sarta one? Why are Chosen patrolling freely here? What? The Accord holds Sir Tao, but in case you haven't noticed, the melding still surrounds this place. Be happy there isn't an entire legion of Chosen here. There. Looks like a Lone Ares pilot. Get in there, boss. Am I happy to see you? They trashed my rig a bit. I've lost a lot of mobility. We need to hold them till they give out before I can evac.
Speed it up. Damn! These guys make fighting bandits seem like a vacation. Thanks for the assist. Nice to know Ares is looking out for each other. Operator. Man, I need to get me one of those. Well, the other patrol is doing well. They're returning for repairs. Good to hear. If you're up to it, I have a lead on a point of origin for these chosen attacks. I'm thinking you hit them before they can hit anyone else in the field. They won't know what hit them. I like your style, 3 5. Jacked him up! They are boss. Let's send them back to the melee.
just a few more. Quite a few have already pulled back towards the curtain. I think they might be afraid of you, boss. New chosen signature, different from the others. Might be some kind of commander, marking priority target. Okay, Hall. Chosen threat is gone. Good work. Now, back to the task at hand. I have another site for you to check. It was part of the old battlefront where the Chosen and Accord stalemated each other before the Accord finally pushed the Chosen back. See what kind of tech and weapons you can scrounge and we'll call it a day. seems very sparse. Boss, I see a whole lot of the buzzard members here. What are they doing? Hey, Aries! You enjoy taking our payday? I hope so, since we enjoy taking all this tasty tech. Gonna enjoy beating your ass next. Boss, defend yourself. Paul? I see it. I've deployed an arc folder nearby. Take that tech from the buzzards and offload it. Grab another piece of tech, and I'll call the Ark Folder back. You've got the buzzards on their heels. Fine, though. The buzzards are going to go extinct if they start attacking Ares. Idiots. You still have those original items. Return them to me, and I will prep your payment.
Good work. Looks like my decision to switch over to Ares was the right one. Stick around. There's more money to be made. We'll be around, Mr. Hall. My men need more thumper support, Ares 35. My boys are using another deep mineral thumper and pissing off every critter that can hear it. Now, there's no need for you to check in with me. Just go out and meet them in the field. I'll send you their location. I appreciate you helping us out, Cupcake. Thanks for coming back. There you are. Once again, you were a big help. Until next time, I'll see you around, Cupcake. <laughs>